says Eve Kristoff, your love life coach. And I know that sometimes we feel jealousy. And as a man, it must be particularly hard with all that competitive energy between men, you know. So I'm going to give you um, some tips that will really, really help you. One thing is to realize that whatever you want is the guide. It's the clue towards what you need to do and be and grow into. In other words, what you're jealous of is showing you where you need to grow and expand. So first you want to give yourself full permission to do that, growing and expanding, and trust yourself, be courageous that you're going to show more of who you are to your beloved. Well, this is what to understand about women. Women are like the goddess Lalita in many ways. Basically, there are five ways in which you need to serve her, serve her actually, yeah, as uh, five different aspects of the gods. So, first, first primary is lover. She actually may be saying she's not into sex. But that's because all these other God selves that she needs of you maybe aren't there yet. She needs the lover aspect of you more than anything in the whole world. But that lover God depends on four other God aspects that have to be going on for her to really feel turned on. Number one, Creator God. That's the one who's willing to bring birth out of your sexuality into the world. Now this does not have to be a baby, a physical baby, but it does need to be a baby of some kind that gives more to the world than just the, the communion of your love bliss together. So it can be like that you give parties or that you um, go out dancing and laughing with people and you, you share your, your joy of your relationship. It can be writing a book together. It can be creating a recipe book. But whatever it is, it's really important that it is giving more to the world. It's, the, it's when you become a shower of love to the community. If you're not in, in Creator God with her, she will start to feel like your sexuality doesn't really have potency. So especially if she's focused on children and you're not, find another way to create and give birth with her. Second, supporting lover God is Rudra, the destroyer. So that is the aspect of man who is willing to be warrior, destroyer of everything unnecessary, everything she doesn't want anymore, all the changing and growing and visceral fighting for love that's passionate and, and willing to keep changing the, the arrangement without being stuck in your one ways of, of the original vows you made. No, she needs you to be able to keep destroying what you had so that you can resurrect into something fresh. Keep being a, a courageous warrior in the world with her against the, the atrocities that she wants to fight and face. Number three, God supporting the lover. That's Vishnu. Vishnu, the sustainer, the one who helps her life go better, who protects her, makes her safe, feeds her with energy, feeds her with finances, feeds her with um, ideas that sustain her, make her sustainable in all of her giving. So this is where you have to suss out your woman, what ways one woman might need a little financial support while another woman needs a lot of emotional and um, intellectual conversations to sustain her energy. Another woman might just need cuddles, but you're going to bring sustaining energy, and it's best if it's very physical. It's back rubs, it's financial, it's um, help for her business, it's cooking. Cooking for her is a huge way to be Vishnu, or bringing her great food. Number four, supporting Kama Shiva, the great lover is Shiva the yogi. This is the companion who does yoga with her, who goes biking, who takes hikes, who, who has a luscious companion energy 
in, in um, healthy habits of sustainability. So it's the opposite of sitting on the couch, smoking, smoking cigarettes, drinking a beer, ignoring her, filling the house with ugly TV sounds. That would not be the yogi man. The yogi divine lover um, support is the man who He's bringing good energy. He's making the house smell sweet. He's helping with some housework. He's um, getting on a cleansing diet himself with her, his own regime for his own body. He has entered the sphere of making life a holy sacrament of companionship. He includes her on that little trip to the bank just to talk with her and, and drink drink coffee together or that, that wheatgrass. <laughs> okay, so now Kama Shiva, the, the great tantric lover, is supported by all of these other gods. And Kama Shiva kisses her, loves her. He's underneath her supporting her. He is not dominating yet. He is holding space for her and he is the one who is leading who is providing the container for her surrender and in her sensual bliss and joy with him. Yes. So be, do, and have all of the gods as you. Whatever you see that she's receiving for others that you haven't risen to the occasion yet, rise, rise, start rising. She needs all of these connections and if you're not going to offer her one of them, be sure that you support her to receive those other um, connections with other people, other men friends, uh, going out with girlfriends, uh, receiving some of the energy you don't have for her in dancing perhaps. Yes, this will help you. Much love. And I'm a love life coach, so connect with me. I'll help you guys out. Subscribe! Okay.